Okay, this video is just a conclusion to the uh, I read mail one where I did those changes but I actually forgot to do the part where I was going to use do something with those changes so basically here's the um, the system set up with the 2,700,000 users and what I'm just going to do is to run a quick test on it with Postal which is a program that you can use to actually test um, email servers and basically it's going to connect to it and try and send some emails but I think but what you notice will happen is it will give up after a while because I think it's to do with the anti, one of the other anti-spam features in um, iRedmail where after a while when you're hammering the server it will actually uh, just basically stop accepting the mail so but obviously that's there's a good reason it does that and it's interesting yet again that exchange actually doesn't stop you can basically hammer it for hours and it will keep taking the emails so I'm just going to run this command and what it's going to do is just going to try sending some emails to the server from <coughs> from a list uh, hold on. The wrong IP addressing. Okay, so now if you check on the on the actual I uh, read mail itself, we can see that the messages are coming in and being scanned by Amaviz and of course it's using quite a lot of CPU as well which you'd expect Yeah, you can also see as, as the disk space, free space is going down, as the emails are coming in. So basically what I'm just trying to show is that it does actually work as a real mail server that messages can be sent to and be received uh, by the... Um, so by the system, by the users who are on it, and that even though it's two million users, obviously it doesn't have a problem with checking the incoming messages against that long list of two million.
Hmm. Well, the interesting enough, it seems to actually be taking the messages for a lot longer than before. Okay, so we'll call off that attack and of course it's going to have to go through the long queue now for Amavis checking them to, to finish because obviously there's quite a long mail queue now that's built up and it has to process all of those messages and we can actually see where the messages are coming in so if we just um, have a look at the mail log yeah you can see them Yeah, you can see, so message came from me and it's going to one of the random names and it's queued so you can see that it does quite a lot of testing on the mails as they come in <laughs> and obviously you can make the testing harsher or more lenient according to how um, how you want to and the other thing I was just going to show is that the mail interface does work so if I was to go in as the postmaster into the round cube interface and so these are some messages that postmasters received already and so if I get an, one of the usernames I just send an email to them Just get it from him. Let's try this again. So that message was sent. You can see in our sent box that it's gone. And if I now log out, log in this user. see this is the test email from postmaster that I just sent so that shows that the emails work is working okay and then this is obviously the random message that got sent in to to test the mail system so I have to admit this um, this postal program is pretty good for testing just to make sure that your mail system is working and that the users can actually receive the mail that the mail store is doing its job as well and so this is really just to show that it, this even with all those users it is actually working as a real mail system where you can send emails to it and you can send emails to it and add and delete users and this is all with basically it having um, as you can see it's a little it's a little bit slow because it's probably still oh, okay it's finished yeah so well, at least it didn't take so if I click on this if it takes half an hour then it's like exchange 
but if it only takes a few seconds then well there you go as you can see there's still 2,730,962 users in the system and you can basically it's just responsive like a normal server so even though Exchange obviously can work with that many users, it's the actual administration interface that's the big problem. And so if you ever, you got a country where you need to have this many users on your mail server, then it looks like you, the going for an open source solution is your only choice, simply because at least you can put your own interface on it. And that interface is going to have the performance that you need in order to be able to um, have the proper mail s service that you want. So I suppose the exchange is all right for these big corporations with their overpaid CEOs. But when it comes to running a real country, it looks like you're going to have to look for um, something which is a bit more advanced than it. OK, thanks for watching this video. And if you want to see any more videos like this, then you can subscribe. OK, see you.